Hello everybody and welcome to the second to last case for Sherlock Holmes, the Devil's Daughter. A few announcements. So after this week, um, or after basically this video, I will be only having one more episode to record and that is Sherlock Holmes, the Devil's Daughter, um, last case basically. Not that one. Fever Dreams. Uh, in that one, um, will be very fast paced, so I hope you guys are ready for that. Um, the current case we are on is called Chain Reaction. So the reason that, um, I am doing this first and been doing the title scenes is sometimes these cases, you are on a time sensitive clock for some stuff. This case is no exception. Um, because at the beginning of this case, you are going to be in a very heated cutscene with Watson discussing about Kate and all the secrets that are being kept from her currently. Um, we know that Alice has referred to, like, Holmes having a soft spot for children of criminals, Alice being one of them that was... Um, affected by Sherlock Holmes arresting her own father and then not knowing her mother or her mother being deceased. Um, she had to live with her aunt before she passed. And so living in a world um, alone, she struggled. But the other thing too is that uh, she is alluding to Kate, which Kate's secret, uh, we will be diving into more, but this is like a very heated debate between Watson and Sherlock, because Sherlock has been adamant, no, she will never know. Um, but right now, after, um, Basically, after you get into the area, you have to rush around, basically, to save people. And I think for this case, there is a certain amount of people that um, you can save, and there is an achievement for saving all of them. Sorry about the silence, uh, even though we'll probably be editing out in the video. So in this starting um, sequence, even though you could technically skip the games and stuff, um, there are some parts you can't skip in this upcoming um, Save the Citizens. Uh, if you don't get my reference, please watch Sky High. Um, it's an old Disney movie about superheroes, and that is one of the things that gets mentioned is Save the Citizen. <laughs> but, um, basically, you need to save 10 civilians. Um, if you save all the civilians, because there is a chance you don't save all of them, um, you will, uh, lose an achievement opportunity to get um in this game okay i'm wrong but overall you don't want to lose um potential clues uh I, I think you can get clues from the civilians of like what happened or where they were at so you can reconstruct the events um there is 10 civilians to save i'm going to show you the order of how to save them um, some people say, you know, rotate between Watson and Holmes because, uh, they can save people faster, but there will be, like, time sensitivity events, so I am going to show you, like, how I would save them because there is so many of them to save. Um, and not only that, but some of them will require playing mini games as Watson. So that's why you have to swap between the two. Because Sherlock Holmes 
Even though he is a marvelous detective, he is not a medically licensed doctor like Dr. Watson is. So with that said, we are going to go ahead and continue and start the case Chain Reaction. Holmes, you simply have to face up to it. You need to have a serious discussion with Kate about her origins. I can't. No more excuses. She will learn soon enough that Alice is leaving. This other hidden secret. She will not forgive you. She does not need to know why. No? So she will blame you for Alice's departure. Is that what you want? No. I, I certainly... It's as Kate said. I, I always do the wrong thing where she's concerned. Now look here. I'll take care of your case once we're back at Baker Street. Cabby, why have we stopped? The road to the square is blocked, sir. Why? There's been a bad road accident. Oh, splendid. We'd better hurry. There may be injured who need help. This part might be heavily edited, possibly, so be prepared, but we're gonna look His at his eyes. Constricted, but they are... he has stopped and breathing. then we're There's gonna no do a quick I must act game. quickly to save him. You can skip the minigame, but I am gonna show the minigame because this will be important. <laughs> And after Thank this goodness. point, the man this will man will live. And we are going to swap over to... Holmes, don't just stand there. Do something. Observe the situation. This. This is an obstacle. You want to do this guy first, because if you don't, the fire will... Um... Not... Um... The fire will harm the individual. He won't be alive. It's too hot to go. Do the water and get it. Please! No! We're on our way, sir. We're gonna... Oh, wait. No. I don't want to skip this. We keep forgetting this part. And we're gonna drag this man outside to save I don't think he wouldn't be affected by the fire. But you're just basically holding the move back button to get him out. Thank you so much. Okay, we're gonna help this guy next. Because there's the board. So this Please guy. Move to a safer area, sir. And then you have to time it where you push him out of the way, or else he would come here. I would have died if not for you. All right. He's unconscious. And you have to realize there is no handle where it cannot be opened, so you see something broken. And once you get this, the observation is complete. Now the ones with the, like, hazard sign above them, you need to rescue those. <laughs> because those are very time sensitive. But the others can still be gone. Please! Help! And one of them is completely safe. Like, they're not really. And this guy is apparently safe. Over here! This guy was pulled out. 
and at this point, you'll be glad that you went and saved that. Okay. No visible wounds, not injured. Trap. Um. Now the others are going to be pretty easy because they yeah. they're not really on time sensitive. All right, we're gonna move this guy back out of harm's way. No. Oh, thank you for saving me. I need help. And this should be the last guy with. Or not Watson, Sherlock. And then we have to swap to Watson for two of the three. Please help me. I'm so Come on. I'm trying to grab this. As you can tell, this is going to be a lot of butt mashing, but saving all of the citizens is a good feeling. And then you have to angle it to where you I try to get. Help. Thanks for your help. We're gonna... And this is why you wanted to save the person in the cab. Please help me. My leg. My name is Dr. Watson. Let me examine you. First, we're gonna check the bone bones. bones appear to be broken. Ah, it hurts! There's some extreme bruising. I think that an improvised bandage will do for now. One moment, and I'll fetch what I need. I like how Watson now, is. let me apply the bandage. And this is an improvised bandage. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. We're gonna try waking him, but we're I see no visible in ah! Perhaps I could use ammonia. This wakes people up oh, instantly. My head. And then there's one more mini game before we talk. To you. Oh, my shoulder! I'm a doctor. Will you allow me to look at your shoulder? You gotta. check on this guy. Don't he has no me. injuries okay. or anything. He's the one freebie, basically. And this is how you start the case chain reaction. Holmes, it appears the police have arrested someone. Perhaps it is the person responsible for this disaster. Look for the constables. We have to be careful because there is electricity and electricity and water. Let me go. You're talking nonsense. Insulting a police constable, eh? That's quite enough. What's happening here, constable? Mr. Holmes, 
This gentleman here is the fellow who built the scaffolding which collapsed and caused this accident. That ain't true. How are you hurt? This hammer hit me on the leg. How? Oh. It flew out from the scaffolding I put up. When the damn thing collapsed, the hammer flew out and coshed me leg. You were standing over there at the time. Oh, aye. Yeah, that's right. So it would not have been possible for him to bring the scaffolding down, Constable? Perhaps it was poorly constructed. Oh, right. Yes, of course. And what made it fall? Perhaps it was you, waving around that rotten stick of yours. You'll wind up getting a taste of it if you carry on like this. One moment, Constable. The scaffolding here has been entirely dislodged. It is unlikely that this disaster could have been the fault of this gentleman. Allow me to inspect the area. And if you could possibly be of use, close off the surrounding section. Do not grant anyone access, nor allow them to leave. Is that quite clear? Absolutely, Mr. Holmes. I like the respect he has. This accident is a little unusual. I need to concentrate on the details. I must include all the participants in the accident sequence. So we're going to talk to each individual. My poor leg. We're going to just kind of try to talk to people. Celebratory bump. A dead driver. Another victim of the explosion. We're just trying to find... This horse was blinded by the flag, causing it to bolt into the window. The overturned lamps may well have caused the fire and explosion. This cab was set on fire by the explosion at the lamp shop. Yeah, Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? It all happened so quickly. There was an explosion and my horse startled and threw me back against those wardrobes. Right. The pumpkins fell here after the sprung cart collided. Good day to you, sir. Would you mind answering some questions? I'm investigating this accident. Are you the driver of this cart? Yeah. I was transporting vegetables from my farm to the London market. Accident? What can you tell me about the accident? I don't know. There was a collision. I felt the ground. I come over all dizzy. Collision? What did you collide with? Um, that contraption up in front of me. He stopped all of a sudden, and I tried to avoid him, but I wasn't quick enough. Interesting. There. Sudden stop? Do you have any idea what might have caused this cab to stop so sharply? No, no idea. All right. There's another one. An old sprung cart, which has seen better days. All right. The old gas lamps in this square have been upgraded to electricity. A puddle of water and electricity. Deadly combination. Ooh, what secret compartment? I won't be able to release it with my bare hands. So yeah, you need to take the batteries out of this lamp, so that way we can investigate the cart. That's it. This technical cab was involved in this tragic accident. This technical cab was involved in this tragic accident. This mechanism played a part in the accident, I'm sure of it. We have six elements. This jaunting car would be capable of traveling at great speed. 
Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? No, you can't. Go away. Look, there is one Celebratory there. bunting. This cab hit the scaffold and caused it to fall. <laughs> what do you make of this accident, Holmes? Alright, not helpful. The rope holding the bunting was torn apart. A large section of it is now missing. Right. We're still looking around because we want all 13 elements found. As they are all in this area. Might I ask you some questions regarding the accident? Please. Not now. I'm in shock. There's this carriage was struck by the scaffold when it fell. We're just trying to look around the area, find what we're missing. Those wardrobes felt like dominoes. <laughs> There's two elements we Just wanted to talk to you, see what you saw when we arrived. Wait, hang on. Yeah, now. No, it wasn't like that. Are you kidding me? Wasn't like that. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to remember. To do this element. Uh, 
This mechanism played a part in the accident, I'm sure of it. The axe was catapulted by the scaffold and it landed here. All right, time the map out the axe in order. It all started, but we only found 12 elements. So we had to find all them. The rope holding the bunting was torn apart. A large section of it is now missing. A common phaeton. An uncommon location. All right. I believe I've enough information about this accident. Now let's recreate the sequence of events. This I will show as is once I finish it. So this should be, if I did this correctly, the correct sequence of events so we can watch this. That's it. And that's what caused the accident. The technical cab's sudden halt caused this disaster, but the lamppost fell down afterwards. So why did the cab stop? And now we have something to report to the police, or the constable. Mr. Holmes? I've not seen a traffic accident like this before. My poor leg! There's a metal strapping. This crank has been turned. And 
there's something inside. Some kind of solvent. A piece of fabric drenched in solvent. Too. I suspect it's from a gang. This man was killed by electricity. Rasko, yes, I know him. He's a small-time local criminal. A pneumatic hammer. Mud. Oof. Smells bad. That's the evidence you get from back there. There is some text underneath the paint here. This is more individuals that you question and kind of observe. This man was armed with a revolver. Webley, I suspect. Some kind of solvent. A piece of fabric drenched in solvent. This cab was painted recently. Could be important. I'll need to find a way to remove this fresh paint. There's a metal strap in. Alright, we're gonna use this. Oh yeah, you have to get underneath here too. Go. Underground Electric Railways Company of London. There's a metal strapping. There's a metal strapping. There is some electrical wiring here beneath the manhole.
And this is where we find the area. Double lockpicks may be used in the same way as two single ones. So for this first one, since we have some new lockpicks, um, if I could figure out which ones to use. No, oh, please. We're gonna do this. Do do. All right, so we're going to be using two fourth fourth picks on the inside, not the outside. Oh. Uh, oh. And then the number two on the outside. There's no space for this lock pick. Oh. Then a three fourth lock for the second, and we're in. I don't know why I was saying like double lock or whatever, but it's okay. All right, so this device I've not seen right here such a device before. Is what's why the cabs did not stay. Puzzle always confused me. figure out what makes them all We'll figure it out in a moment. Smoke on the water. Women are now allowed to smoke in public. The court declares today magistrate had ruled that it no longer is no longer a crime for women for a woman to smoke in the public area in London at least. He then proceeded to discharge Mary Towson, Edna Custer, and Elise Watkin. Three ladies who had been smartly arrested for smoking in Trafalgar Square. I can see the technical cab very well from here. Uh-huh. All right, we're going to try this puzzle again.
Oh wait. But it's not telling me how to do this. This part I kind of forgot how to do. There the electrical go. charge which affected the technical cab came from here. An open bottle of cheap wine. A single glass containing traces of alcohol. Someone was nervous. Now we get to talk to the constable. About what truly happened. Holmes, I was looking for you. I have an idea about the accident. Never mind. This one is murder. What? What? You? You're a murderer, You're eh? off your head. Are you sure, Holmes? Oh, yes. A murder and an accident. Because the killer, by electrocuting the cab, created this chaos. And so this multiple crash is now our great chance. Our great chance? Of what, Holmes? The culprit could not have planned for this to happen, don't you see? And it is possible that he is still here due to the prompt arrival of the police. Now I see five men who could be our murderer. Let us take a look at the map. Map of the accident. What do you make of this accident, Hope? My poor leg. Now we gotta figure out who are the potential suspects. What a bloody carnage! We're gonna go back to the room where we found the one thing. Okay, maybe not that. We're gonna have to find people to talk to. Bloody carnage. It's so weird because I've already talked to some person. Celebratory bunting. Leg. Yeah, 
There's a metal strap in. We're gonna start here and walk north. So I am going to try and figure this out tomorrow or later on because I am not sure what I'm doing wrong, but I will try my best to resolve this issue before I record this next. So we will be right back. Welcome back everybody. So I figured out what I need to do so we're going to try doing it now that I realized I was looking at a step ahead. So we're looking at our potential suspects which is all the cart threaders. And we're just looking at all of the potential suspects. Even though I don't know why the guy that was... Who was injured. I think it's this guy over here. And those are the five suspects. Now, this part can be challenging. isn't so bad. Okay, that will drive me crazy. We're going to be by the constables. So,
So the three that are suspect are... <coughs> is this guy. This guy. And this guy. The other two are not a suspect. We're going to confirm these choices. That's it. Constable, I suspect three people here. Take them to Scotland Yard for questioning. As long as I don't leave empty-handed, all's good and well. I know that look, Holmes. Have you found something new? That's right. In order to trap the cab, the killer must have known the precise route it would take. Or even, that could suggest the cab must have set out not far from here, in this very street, perhaps. Remarkable. Holmes, I'm terribly sorry, but I must go to the hospital now to help tend to the wounded. I understand, Watson. But don't forget our earlier discussions. Hmm? He About did. Kate. So now... We're going to find out where the cap came from. We're going to examine the belongings of the possible victims and suspects. And we'll interrogate them too. So now, because we've gotten this part done, <laughs> we could go back to what I was looking at earlier, which was... Wrong thing. It was like mud. Oh, aha. Mud. Oh, smells bad. Fresh paint, but from something else. There was a collision here. The technical cab collided and stopped here. The lock was forced. Yep, it was. And this will help in your interrogation. The Strand. Snakes, snake nests and conspiracy in the district of St. Victor while well, in the act of demolishing an old house. Masons have uncovered a nest of snakes which has spawned upwards of a hundred squirming reptiles. These reptiles did inhabit the bottom of a well, long since dried up. In the middle of this snake nest, there was the skeleton of a child who had likely plunged down the well to his or her death. Surprisingly, the skeleton in question was still holding a red Morocco portfolio much disintegrated apart from one legible strip of paper which read do not reveal the plot a trail of mud goes through the entire room like a two four So it's not that one. Three, four, right? It's close. Oh, and watch. we're in the room. Saleable items are produced here. Mud. Oof. Smells bad. It 
looks as though the carpet was placed here intentionally. An old access point to the sewers. An old access point to the sewers. All right. So we've unlocked the location. We're not going to go in there just yet. Oh, no. Because the only other thing is to interrogate. So we're going to actually go to the sewers. And this area can be dangerous and does involve a lot of puzzles. And we'll go left next, but we're just checking out. So you do not want to go to the right at all. You want to go to the left first. Or maybe I'm wrong. I think we go through there at some point. So I think there's some clues over here. Again, it's been kind of a few years since I played this, so I don't remember exactly everything, but I remember enough. Oh boy. Yeah, there's this puzzle. Oh, we can move this. I forget. <clears throat> We're almost there. <clears throat> so once you move this over. If it was at zero, there's like none whatsoever. But when it was at, I want to say one, that's when we were like 
<coughs> we can't do that. So you want it up one. This will allow you to jump across and make it to the other side. Where you can kind of inspect. No clues over here. But you have a water controller over there. Now we can put this at zero again. As you can see, it doesn't really show anything, and we're going to have to move it. I don't like that sound, but there's not much I can do with it. And so we have another balancing game. We can skip it, but I am going to show you guys at least on the way over. Not on the way back. On the way over, how to do this? Well, no, I should show it all the way through because you might not be able to skip these when you first play these. And it's so hard because you have to look at both circles, not just one or the other. As you can see, there's nothing over here, except more of this. So there's two sides we can get to, but we're gonna move this to that side because that'll be easy to jump across. You can't really jump across the other side of the top. But I am gonna skip the mini game on the way back. Um, just because I know it's very difficult to do on the way back. What's this? Oh, never mind. Once you get across, pull the lever and you'll be able to easily walk. Put it at one half again. And voila. We made it across. Climbed up the ladder. And voila. And we have a way back. So now we get to examine this. A red powder. Given the circumstances, most probably iron oxide. Or just rust. Magnesium strips. Metal powder. Looks like aluminium. And so those are a few clues that you have. <laughs> <sighs> so 
So far, we haven't been able to make any deductions yet. So, it was the goal of Rasco's gang to rob the bank. Mm-hmm. The thieves have opened almost all of the deposit boxes. They must have taken a... The thieves have opened almost all of the deposit boxes. They must have taken a great many valuables. I believe there is something to find in here. This vault belongs to the Bank of England. I just can't remember where to look. something we missed in here. Alrighty, over here. This is what we were. An old map of the sewers with a red cross. Alright. We have to head back. Oops, hang on. The iron wall of the vault has been melted through. Still warm. We did the water puzzle. We don't need to worry about anything. So we went straight across the water. So it's nowhere near the water. So straight. Go so this way because that's what it's indicating. A banker. Dry, so it hasn't been here very long. All of the licorice has been eaten. This cigarette stub is dry. It was discarded fairly recently. The tobacco's aroma is still strong. It's uh, sweet and nutty. This cigarette stub is no, Metal rings. They're used to hold the barrel in one piece.
The Rat. That's a popular brand of cigarette. We're just going to double check over here. And now we can fast travel. going to be going to slide in the yard. And now we're going to get a cutscene. Ah, oh, Mr. Holmes, we have a slight problem. What happened? One of the suspects, Mr. Reginald Butcher, has escaped. It was after we asked him to put his belongings in the evidence room. I'm sorry. How did he escape? Um... He hit me in the face. Took me by surprise, you know, otherwise I, uh... Of course. That's all? But just before he left the yard, he shouted, Sorry, I'll come back later. Sorry, I'll come back later. He could have said that without punching me. Is Inspector Lestrade here? No, he will be absent for a couple of days. Can we keep this incident between us? We are going to look at all of this. First, this letter. Dear Mr. Butcher, your repeated absence, which is compounded by your delays with existing workload, simply cannot continue. You are responsible for a number of serious errors that your colleagues have found themselves compelled to rectify. We are sorry for this present situation, as you have always been an exemplary employee. You understand the complication of your personal situation, but if you are unable to correct your behavior in the immediate future, we shall be forced to terminate your employment. The Directors Underground Electric Railways Company of London. Reginald Butcher had problems with his job. This pen is an expensive one, but it isn't new. The initials M.B. Another letter. Mr. Butcher, we have the most excellent news for you. Please arrange to visit the hospital as soon as possible so that we may conclude this matter. P.S. Her condition is stationary. Dr. Matthew Smith, Great Foreman Street Hospital, London. This letter from yesterday perhaps explains why Butcher was in such a hurry. At any rate, I now have an exact address. Reginald Butcher is fond of sweets. Yeah. So we could still examine the other information. Benjamin, my son, I would be so pleased if you could join me and help lead our next banquet, ch or charity banquet, which is due to take place on Sunday after the service. Your goodwill brings such joy, and I know that I may rely upon you. I remember how your life began in sin, you were feeling rejected and alone in the world, and how you turned to the criminal path. But you have you found the strength within you to make the change. You became a good man. Our Lord will have mercy upon you. I shall always be happy to see you in our church, my son. God bless you, Pastor Gordon. And this my is... life has changed thanks to Pastor Gordon and my faith. Whiskey. Of poor quality. Ooh, Murad. Quite a brand. popular brand of cigarette. Thick leather gloves. They're probably insulated.
A book. Karl Heinzen's 1848 De Maud, with a bookmark. I'll probably read what he was reading. This terrible passage is apparently appreciated by Garrett. Oof. That is concerning. Electrical wires. Dear Mr. Garrett, we are obliged to inform you that despite your ex proportion, you are still in debt to a considerable amount, sum of money. We would request that you contact our payment service as soon as possible. Otherwise, we shall be obligated, obliged to involve the police in this unfortunate matter. Mr. Stewart, Financial Director of Bank of England. Belongings of the victims, Rasco and his acolyte. A police report about Rasco. He's only a minor criminal. Oh boy. Mauricio Alfredo Vincente, also known as Rasco, leader of a small local gang whose members can be identified by the gang's motif, a dog tattoo. The gang has been involved in frequent violence, robbery, pickpocketing, etc. A Webley revolver. A standard deck of. A normal pocket knife. Rasco is fond of licorice. Huh. The licorice was found both at the sewers and amongst Rasco's belongings. Mm hmm. Somebody knew about the bank robbery and managed to kill the members of Rasco's gang immediately afterwards. for this one will be and an, just an and artist. We're gonna question the people here before questioning at the hospital. First, we're going to question We're going to do Benjamin Fowler, this guy right here on the right. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. And then the person on the far left. Do next, Good day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation. I'm Benjamin Fowler, and I was arrested by mistake. I swear it. You have not been arrested, Mr. Fowler. You are here as a witness. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
but I saw nothing. I swear. Let me go. We're gonna do your profile of his. Former member. They tried getting rid of the tattoo. Tattoos are permanent, so he is religious. A manual worker. He was injured. And he is also a smoker. So this should be the character profile that you get and you are going to validate the observation. Accident. Could you tell me what you were doing at the scene of the accident? I was working on the square's statue. I work for the council. I swear it. Electricity. Do you ever work with electricity? Yes, sometimes. I repair electric lampposts, but I'm not a specialist. I swear it. It's new, isn't it? And complex and dangerous. I understand. Mr. Holmes, I know you're a great detective and you understand me, so please let me go. I know nothing. I swear... Yes, you swear it. I know. But the last thing is the victim acquaintance. Mr. Fowler, does the name Rasco ring any bells with you? First time I ever heard it. I swear. But we noticed But your tattoo, tattoo resembles his. You are in his gang, are you not? Um, um... Uh, no. It, it was a long time ago. I already forgot. I swear it. I just picked a few pockets for him when I was a young fellow. But I ain't proud of what I did. All my family, my parents, my brothers, dogs and cats all died when I was a lad. I wouldn't have survived otherwise. So that is more information. Mr. Fowler's work. Two. Oh. So for this one, we are going to pick not a specialist. And then for this big bubble, we're going to go with Fowler's New Life. So he cannot be it, and neither of this guy, although we could still get more clues. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Thomas Garrett. Why am I here? <coughs> you are a witness to murder. Of course. Well, it wouldn't be the first time that the police jailed an innocent man in order to close a case. No one has been charged yet. Yet. We're going to do character profile first. Remember, once you validate an option, it's forever. So he is ill. He's been coughing. Um, this is an anarchist symbol. And then once you look at his left hand, you'll see that he works with electricity. And this should be the character profile that you have for Thomas Garrett. What did you see? Did you perhaps see anything in particular during or after this disaster? Yes. I saw part of your bourgeoisie burn up and explode. It was spectacular. Why did you remain in the square? Why not seek shelter? Like the rest of the sheep, there were some wounded comrades, workers. I wanted to help them. Ill. You have a severe cough. Are you suffering? It's only a cold. <coughs> and when you ask about the cold, you'll mention the black uh, sputum. Why not be honest with me? You are spitting up black fluid. Ah, well observed. Yes. I have enough coal dust in my lungs to fuel an entire London district. You were a miner, then? Since the age of 13, yes. At the Newcastle Mines. Fifteen years of hell. Those were bloody times. But now it's over. I don't want to die in those holes like my father and my brothers did. 
in order to line the pockets of the rich. <laughs> And then electricity. Do you have any electrical knowledge? How do you know about that? Are you a mind reader? <coughs> there are electrical wires amongst your belongings. Clever. Yes. I'll teach electrics to my comrades, since I'm currently without paid work. I'm self-taught, so we're not as dumb as you might think. And I don't want to work for bosses anyway. Mr. Garrett's side job and electrocution. So, with that, it, it would be insufficient knowledge because he is not sufficient. means our last suspect is probably the murderer. Now at this point we can go to Foreman Hospital where our um, suspect is. We're gonna look over here first. Examine the black ribbon. A young woman lost her life. Then we're gonna look on the back of it. Mr. Butcher's wife. And then there is this. Mr. Butcher. Mr. Butcher, I can confirm that we are willing to admit your daughter into the care of our hospital. You will be responsible for the travel expenditure, naturally taking all appropriate precautions due to the delicate state of your daughter. Additionally, you must attend to any accommodation costs and all medical attention. <coughs> the final bill cannot be surmised within this letter. It will depend, of course, upon your daughter's condition, but I must warn you that the sum may be considerable. Dr. K. O. Medin, Karolinska University Hospital, Stockholm. The amount requested by the University Hospital of Stockholm for Merrill Butcher's medical treatment was estimated to be considerable. Which makes seriously ill daughter think about problems at work. Butcher's problems. Think robbery and electrocution. Now, when we look at the chart, because that will be another one. Meryl Butcher. Now we're going to examine the father's profile. Mr. Reginald Butcher, I've come from Scotland Yard. Might we talk? All right, but not too loudly. She's finally asleep. Is she your daughter? My pretty little Meryl. She's very ill. Now look, I'm sorry I ran, but I had to see Dr. Blowberry today and the policeman wouldn't listen. Don't worry. I understand now. We're going to do a profile. Now he's a railway worker. He was married. This was a gift from his daughter. Was once prosperous 
and that this is the validated observation that you need for um, Reginald Butcher. Oops, we've already validated the profile, so we are going to then say cure. Can she be cured? It'll take a long time, but I'm confident that we'll win this fight. I can't bear to think otherwise. Yes, it's probably just a question of money. What are you talking about? It's and a question of willpower, and my daughter will win. It's a question of money because this is why you need to have the letter read first so treatment of Merrill butcher i do hope so although the treatment at the karolinska university hospital is very expensive ah um yeah it's our only hope thanks to the good dr blowberry she finally has a bed we're going out next week it's our last chance do you have children yes i have a daughter too and then the job with Butcher's letter. We'd sacrifice our lives for our children, would we not? Yes. Of course, yes. And then what do you after do for this, a living, Mr. Butcher? you'll have I, every clue you need. I work at this. the office of the Underground Electric Railways Company. Then you must be familiar with electrical devices. I am indeed. Why do you ask? It is of no consequence, but tell me. What are the reasons behind the problems you're experiencing at work? Problems? What do you mean? Letter from Butcher's job. You have already received a written warning. Yes. I'm often late to work. My boss doesn't understand my situation. It's difficult since my daughter became ill. I see. And then we're going to talk about the technical cab. Coincidentally, we found one of your company's cabs in the square where the accident occurred. Really? Why was it there? I have no idea. Do you? No. But a week ago, we had a technical cab stolen, along with its tools. Do you think that could be the one? It's possible. We're going to do more deductions. So, electrician and electrocution. Butcher's trap. He knows how to work with electricity. Underground worker. So, hopelessness is why he did what he did. So, Mr. Butcher is a murderer. You do have to condemn him. However, or you have to declare he is the murderer because of all this information. And he is convicted, but you can resolve or absolve or condemn. I always think the best option, even though he was a criminal, he did it out of the love for his seriously ill daughter, I feel like. Um, and he felt forced to rob the bank before killing his accomplices to help with her treatment and save his daughter's life. So this is the only one I would say absolve because like I said, he did this out of hopelessness um, because he was having problems with work and he did this um help with saving his daughter because he was worried that with the medical care she needed it was going to be way too expensive and he got rid of criminals even though there were some other innocent lives involved he mainly got rid of the criminals that was his intent Gonna confirm the moral. It's a very difficult moral choice, but it Mr. is. Mr. Butcher, moral. Shh. 
She's finally asleep. I knew you'd return. You should go to Stockholm with your daughter. You will save her. I've made my decision. Leave now. You understand? I was forced to do... all this. Perhaps you were. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Goodbye. And so this one didn't have very many clues in this chapter. So at this point, you have finished chain reaction. Reginald Butcher only wanted to save his daughter's life. To do so, to do this, he robbed a bank and killed his accomplices out of necessity. The circumstances are exceptional. He did not have any other choice. Even though there was other choices he could have pursued, it is very understandable with a seriously ill daughter and making sure he had the expenses needed. So we are going to accept this decision. Now, after this, the last case will begin. This is the concluding or conclusion for The Devil's Daughter. So next week, we will be finishing that episode. Um, if you guys haven't checked out the other episodes, definitely do so. Make sure you complete those episodes. Obviously, you can't do this one without completing it. But if you are replaying it just because you didn't get all the clues, you now have all the clues. So with that said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video.